Shalom, shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. I would like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brother scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be titled as false prophets. All right, woe unto these false prophets. All right, because you got these uh, pastors that's under the 501c3, and you got Israelite groups that's under the 501c3. All right, and before I start this lesson, the group that you want to follow is Great Millstone. Don't follow all those other groups because they're not all teaching the same doctrine. All right. The Lord already have men set up and those men are the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. The Lord speaks through those men. All right. Because if you got a dude out there that's teaching contrary to the scriptures and that word contrary, it means opposite. They're teaching things that's not in the Bible. All right. They teaching that, you know, that you can have sex on the Sabbath day. Or they teaching that the, the book of Hebrews is not the word of the most high. Or they teaching that the MOTB is having a bag of weed or any type of drug in your hand. That's teaching contrary to the scriptures. All right. Which means opposite. And you could be destroyed for doing that. All right. And, you know, Lord wants this is edifying. This is Matthew 7 and 15. It says, beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing. All right. And one thing that Jake always look at these carnal jakes is they look at um a particular individual on how they fancy their garments is you know all oh, those garments is fancy you know those men must have the truth you know they got fancy garments you know they teaching something different you know and those things you know those guys that's teaching something different from great millstone you should be scared of what they're doing because it's false doctrine they, if they teach in something that Great Millstone is not teaching, it's clearly false doctrine. They're teaching things that's not in the scriptures. They're teaching things contrary to the scriptures. All right? They're not teaching stuff that's in the Bible. All right? That correlate to the scriptures. All right? And if a guy's teaching that a bag of weed in your hand is MOTB, he sold out of the 501c3. That's why the scriptures tell you this, Matthew 17, 15. It says, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are waving wolves. Right? Because they sold out under the 501c3. They're treating this truth as, you know, a way of uh, making money, you know. They're basically another craft low dollar in a way of sense. All right. Second Peter 2 and 1, it says, but they're false. It says, but there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you. And that's happening right now. You got these Israelite groups that sold out under the 501c3. And you also got these 501c3 charter pastor religious groups that sold out under the 501c3. All right. They're not teaching the truth. All right. Now, these other groups that's outside of Great Millstone that teaches a different doctrine or call upon the name of the Lord by a different name. You're going to get somewhat. I'm not even going to say somewhat, but you're just going to get peanut shells. All right. They're going to teach you that you're an Israelite, but they're going to teach you things that's contrary to the scriptures. That's not right. That's false doctrine. You know, a lot of these groups is reading Book of Enoch and all these other bugged out books. Them books is bugged out. All right. Great Millstone has 100 percent truth. All right. And, you know, one thing about Jake, they just always want to hear the good things of everything. All right. Everything got to be good things. They want to hear good things of everything. All right. And never the bad. Well, you're going to get the bad and the truth with Great Millstone, which is which is awesome because you're going to get the whole truth. That's the whole truth. Everything is just not good. Only, you know, you're going to get bad things also. You know, Second Peter two and one it says, but there were false, pro false prophets, also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, and that's what's going on. You got all these false prophets, man. It says, who privily shall bring in a damnable heresies, meaning lies, all right, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bringing upon themselves a swift destruction, because that's what's going to happen to these individuals, all right. They're bringing to themselves a swift destruction. All right, you're teaching things that's that's contrary to the scriptures. All right, you're teaching things that don't line up with the scriptures. All right, the book of Enoch, you know, you're teaching that uh, heathens can be grafted in. You know, these are things that's not in the scriptures, man. 
all he all nations can be saved that's false doctrine all right the MOTB is a spiritual mark that's false doctrine now there is a spiritual mark all right but Revelation 13 verse 15 through 17 is not talking about a spiritual mark Ezekiel the ninth chapter verse 1 through 4 talks about that spiritual mark all right also going into the angels all right talking about the angels you know but Revelation is verse 13 15 through 17 is not talking about a spiritual mark and if you are Jake that's teaching that you're going to be destroyed because you're teaching false doctrine Matthew 24 24 for there shall arise false Christ right you got antichrist if you if you are Jake that don't believe in the Messiah and you don't acknowledge the Messiah you're an antichrist and you're going to be destroyed if you don't repent all right it says in false prophets and shall shew great signs and wonders and so much that if it was possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And you got people that follow these groups, these 501c3 charter groups, and they're being deceived. All right. But, hey, the Lord set that up. The Lord set up the Lord set up true prophets and the Lord set up false prophets. All right. Two thirds of the nation of Israel are going to be set up to follow false prophets. And then you have the true prophets set up. For the elect to follow to receive salvation. And that's the order that's set up for the from the Lord. Romans 16, 18. It says, For they that for they that are such not our it says, For they that are such serve not our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but their own belly. And that's these 501c3 charter Israelite groups and these 501c3 charter religious groups. They just worry about the money, the vainglory. They love being worshipped. You know, you're not supposed to have that spirit of wanting to be worshipped, man. That's 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 totally off, man. That's wicked. All right. You should not have the that type of spirit to feel comfortable being worshipped, man. Because the Lord Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you guys at the end of the day. It says, and by good words and fair speeches, deceiving the hearts of the simple. And that's what's going on right now. The hearts of the simple is being deceived, deceit, deceit, uh, being uh, deceived. So like, the who are the hearts of the simple? These two thirds, man. All right. You guys are being deceived, man. All right, you carnal jakes, you guys are being deceived, all right, in your own minds, man. You're being deceived, all right. This is, uh, let me just see what else I can get. Um, yep, 2 Timothy 4 and 3. It says, for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. See, the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. But after their own lust, so they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. And there's more to that. Let me get another precept. All right. Verse 4, and it says, And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And this has happened to a lot of individuals. They have turned, their, they have turned away from the truth. All right. They have turned their ways from the truth. All right. And became what? Worldly. All right. They either fell out. They became worldly. Or they wind up doing just doing their own thing and going uh, going off, man, leading astray. It says they shall turn away their ears from the truth, and shall be turned onto fables. And that's what's happening to a lot of these Israelites out here, man. They turn onto fables, false doctrines. All right, worshiping all these false deities, calling on all these false names, man. When the Lord only has one name, He doesn't go by many names, man. All right, and um. But that's pretty much it on that, man. All right, I just want to do a quick hitter. Lo, one of us is edifying. I want to give honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Yahweh Kakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world only calls Jesus Christ. But his one true name is Yahweh Shai. And double honors to my elders and apostles of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the whole for the elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Until the next time, I say shalom.